Hey, hello guys. Today I came up with a new topic in service now, which is robot, robust import set transform apps. Uh, this is basically used when we are going to import a single set of data from an Excel into multiple tables. So we'll see what is RHT. Robust import set transform app it is. Uh, if you want to import transform map or get or load data into one or more multiple tables, then we should we'll actually prefer this robust import set transform is. So oh, basically a transform maps update data into a single target table, basically normal transform maps it is. To achieve inserting data into multiple tables, we need to use multiple transform maps actually. In this scenario, we will go for robust transform engine and uh, this RAST will come into picture and made it flexible. Um, the main scenario in this will be to separate the transform and the processing functions. Here we can use a different processing function. It is just an option. We can use the scripting as well and the same way we can change the date formats etc etc i will show you all the stuff and what is the process by rtp when there is a scenario to pass the data from a table and update the data in different tables let's say we have five tables and we need to insert different different data into different data then we will actually prefer this yeah in this data will be retired only once and it will be extra data into intermediate data structure and the data can be transformed as desired however we want and it is very efficient when it compared to the normal transform apps while dealing with multiple data import okay yeah yeah in this i will tell you the step by step process what to do and how we will import first i will show what i have did uh, as a small demo so you can see that so let's see here if you see here I have just created a data source so first I'll show the Excel what I have imported here so this is the data that I have imported into two multiple tables which is car model and the cars car company and car model these are the two things that I have. if you see here it is has updated with the model number specs that we have here and the country in the model data here so with a single data source and with the robust transformation engine how we can do this so now let's do it and see the data so as we know how we can import the data as as we already know we'll just use the load data right then use the load data and from here if we just import this excel it will just create an import set table we have different different stages or else uh, we can go to the data source and we can create a transform all this stuff so what i have did in my scenario is i have just created a new table with some new name and have chosen this excel file in this file i have the data okay so let's go here so this is the data source that which it has been created so it has automatically created with the name card at xlx and this is the import set table and if you want the import set table i want to see the import set table you can see so this will be the import set table in this i already processed multiple times so you are able to see all this stuff and if you see here normally we will use the transform maps here so normal transform map in that we'll be having on start on behavior so instead of this i have went for robust transformers so in this i have created a new import set transformer here so the main thing here is um see uh we need to import data we'll be having the different processes i mean uh, we can use a scripting part to do the on before answer and after so here we can use something called etl transform transform definition so for this i have just uh, updated the source table this source table will be the import table import table that i have created is car company import table and here we can specify the batch search like in how many rows it can process that is called a batch search and here this is the transform definition that i have created if you're creating from new we can just click on it and we can create new so in this way we can just create a new new one from here we can create a new one and we can do that and there we need to fill the following details so we just need to fill the name so once you submit it it will ask for the entities here if you see we have two tabs one is etl entities and robot transform map engine mapping so this is the main stuff here see entity you know what is entity right in a normal java or something entity in the sense uh, it's a table or it's an object so here if you see i want to import this excel data into two different tables so for this i have just created four entities why i'll let you know step by step first we'll see how to create this entities so 
first I have created uh, import set table entity okay so in this basically um, I will reveal that simply here why I have kept this four tables is one is import set empty entity okay and second entity is the is the save table entity these two these two things in the sense whenever any data is first when we import something that record will be coming to here and from here it should go to some specific table that will be the save table this is not a table actually this is just a record so in this we need to map the fields yeah that's it simple thing we just need to create here for example in this uh, in this save table since i have this four fields here i have created these four fields here in this save table and this import table if you see these two save table and import table here so yeah, here i have created the four fields and here i have created the four fields and in the same way these are the two tables one is company table and one is the model table in these two tables i want to import here so i am opening these two tables sorry two entities this is car company entity and this is a car model entity and since we have only two fields in the car company i have just created a two fields here and here also i have just created the four fields since it is a model entity so we'll see now how the why we are using the save and here we see we have four right import save car model and car company how we we'll use this to, how we'll use this to import table and save table to import into this car model and car company so first i have created this four and for this four i have just created the fields whatever i want like this is a, these are the normal fields there will be no mapping nothing here see here i have created four fields first thing and from here if you see this is the field this is the field name and this is just uh, these are just the reference fields so in this way i have created it so now first we'll see how i have first save all the data the this is a simple process i'm first i'm the saving all the excel data here we have these four things right i'm saving this excel data into the save table and from this save table i will map to some card table whatever fields are on and from this save this table only i can map to card company so all this stuff where i'm doing this is the main thing the thing mapping and all where we can do is here robot transformation entity manager here if you see there are three mappings first i am saving the import to save table and after that i will be having all the data on the save and from the save to company table and from the save to model table this is a simple mapping you have understood right here we have four entities so from import it is everything saving in the save table and from save table i'm mapping it to card table and company table so here we have some field called order uh, it will be running based on this order so first it will be 100 so if i open this record this first mapping yeah this is the source table and this is the entity table that i am defining here source table will be the import table and the target table will be the save table so in this save table i am just mapping the source and target field from source entity to target field just that's a simple thing we just need to map and we just need to specify the order and save it so now you will be having all the required data in the save table so from the save table whatever data you want to insert into for example table a table a if you want to insert into table a just we need to map from source table this is the target table right? country save to country model if you want this country name to uh, my car model table i have just mapped this country name to that car model table so that is what i have created here yes yeah, save to car company table and save to car model table this is a simple configuration that we can do and we can map so this is an easy way to upload data from excel into multiple data and also i would like to tell you one more thing as well here when we are creating these entities for example this is a car company car, car company entity and for this entity while updating they should be having some operations so if you go here you, you will be seeing robust transformation entity operations if you click on you here you will get the different kind of processes you can do like we can just look up for a field based on the value that we got or else we can do some scripting or else we can just specify and template 
so these are all the common ones i'll just show you what is this script part so in this for example if you got some from excel import you got some value as uh, use specs with high model 8 to xxx engine so from here if you want to while inserting into this one basing on some category or something you want to add something extra here for example if that category is uh, uh, something starting with r i will i want to update with r underscore high model whatever data it is so here in this case what i'll do means here you'll be having the script already just copy the script and you can just add it here and in this output so here they are just concatenating so this is the basic example that have that they have given so here what i what i want is r underscore plus whatever thing i, I have this is the operation that i want actually so here i'll just specify add r underscore and i will just map that this is for uh, which one car company so i'll just map company name entity and the target field company name entity so i'm just submitting here so in this way you can do the operations as well here so now let's see in a real time way how the transformation is going on and etc etc i'm removing all this data and i will transform and i'll show you how it how it works see car company is totally empty and car model is also empty so this is the data so see car model is empty and car this one is empty so i'm just loading all the records from the data source like the normal transformers how to do this here robust transformer lacked so this is running yeah it's completed so i'm just clicking on run robust transform and i'm just clicking on the transform so whatever data i want it will be inserted into car company and whatever data i want it will come into the car models see the company name since it is coming uh, empty it is coming as r underscore and if also if you see here see the entire data has been has been has been transferred from here to there we have just inserted into multiple tables i'll just let you know again exactly because this is the main stuff etl definition so this is the main one which i have confused a lot so why to get this import entity save entity car model entity and car company entity simple thing we are just creating two entities free here we are not keeping any path and if you see for the save table as well for the save table i am not mapping any table simply just create the fields and just take this they update this fields from here to there this update will be happening here i am just saving the data from import to save and from this save i am just processing to model table and company table and we can also do the operations as we want we have different operations so i am just wrapping off in a short time so i haven't explained everything you can just go inside it and you can check so this is a very very useful concept i guess while importing it to multiple tables and all so this is what i would like to get out of so I, will, I mean i would like to know everyone about this one thank you so much so this is the one and this is the data we got imported and thank you so much guys happy coding